Hey guys, it's Lori. Just thought I'd hop on real quick while I'm taking a breather. I still have, I'm at my afternoon job right now and I still have a couple hours to go and I'm just whipped. I had to come and take a breather so I thought hey, I'll do my vlog while I'm taking my breather. <laughs> um, didn't get a lot of sleep last night so I'm really tired. Um, so today's round five VLCD4 and I'm back in the 20s. I'm very happy about that. I'm 129.8, so that's a release of 0.8. And um, I was kind of surprised. I've been checking my ketones, and I was kind of surprised to see that I am in ketosis. And uh, it's light. But the reason I'm surprised is because I don't feel like I'm in ketosis. I don't have the taste in my mouth. I haven't been cold, but, you know, it's I don't know what the temperature is right now. But it's not very cold outside. So... <laughs> Excuse me. And we don't turn the air conditioner on unless we have to. So I don't mind it hot in the house. It doesn't bother me. kind of like it. Reminds me of when I was a kid and we didn't have air conditioning, you know. <laughs> um, my average is pretty phenomenal right now, though. 2.4 a day. But that's to be expected for the first week. So, But I guess my point is that since my average is real high right now and I'm only doing a short round, I fully expect to see um, some really small releases or maybe even a little stall or maybe even a gain and that's fine I just keep my eye on that average so um, as long as I can get into the low 120s I'm happy happy as a clam so I'm pretty happy just to be back in the 120s really right now <laughs> but um anyway I don't have a goal I just I just want to feel better and um, right now and this is probably why I felt bloated for like my whole round so far I haven't had that empty feeling you know that you get um, but I feel, I feel really bloated today, but obviously it's because I ran my mouth yesterday and Tom showed up last night, late last night. So, so he's here and he's brutal this time. So, um, that's part of the reason I had to take a breather because I'm just so, I feel weak today and it's not the HCG, I'm sure. I'm sure it's Tom because the, in the last few months I've had... I don't know, about every other month I, I, I feel like this with Tom anymore. Um, in fact, my last Tom came after only 10 days, and this time it was about a week late. And I know I started my round when I was expecting Tom, but here comes a fire truck. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that horn or not, but anyway, um, I shouldn't have started my round when I was expecting Tom, but Tom's going to show up when I start my round regardless, I figured. So, because he was here my entire last round the whole time. So, um, but yeah. I guess I'm just happy to be in the 120s. I don't know who's in that fire truck, but they're waving at me. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, the reason I didn't get a lot of sleep last night was because of the weather. Um, we had late last night, like around midnight or a little after, we were under a tornado warning and there was tornadoes around us that were sighted one touchdown not too far from us. And I don't think it was any real extensive damage, just some uprooted trees, and I don't think anybody was hurt or anything, so that was good. Uh, the tornado siren actually went off three different times. We were kind of freaking out a couple times when the, when the storm first hit. It was like, it came on strong, like, immediately. You know, you get that calm before the storm. We had that, and as soon as that storm hit, it was like, big time. I mean, it scared us, so... We gathered in the kitchen. That seems like the most interior room in our house. We don't have a basement. So we gathered in there and just kind of sat there. My oldest son came over. He had just gotten home from work and he was kind of freaking a little bit because he didn't have, he doesn't have a TV. He's got, you know, internet on his phone, but his phone's tiny. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to come over. He's texting me. I'm coming over. As soon as this rain slows down a second, I'm coming over. So he did. And um, we were watching my little dinky TV that I have in the kitchen. <laughs> So I couldn't see it very well anyway, and then with all the different colors all over the map, with you know showing different colors for different things going on with the storm, it's like I can't tell where anything is. I'm not a geography person anyway, so but my son, he knows all about that. So he's standing by the TV pointing, okay, here's, this is us, and this is Marblehead. My dad lives in Marblehead, Ohio, and that's where it's kind of going right now. And he says, this is Cleveland, because I was wondering about the Cleveland girls. And uh, so she says, oh, Michigan's up here, because I was thinking about Cheryl, and I've got some other friends in Michigan, too. And I thought, okay, it looks like everybody's kind of going to be okay, except for maybe Marblehead. doesn't look like it's 
it looks like it's in a bad path. So I got kind of scared. It was about one o'clock in the morning. I called my dad because I wanted to make sure he was awake. You know, I didn't want him to like fall asleep. And I had talked to him earlier, but I thought, gosh, you know, what if he fell asleep? I don't know. But so I called my dad and he was, he says, yep, I'm up. I'm dressed. I got my boots sitting right here just in case I need to slip them on real fast and head out the door. So he lives in a trailer park. So he's got a super nice trailer up there and it's, he, it's by Lake Erie. And that's just such a dangerous place to be when there's tornadoes coming, you know. So, but they have a church down the road. He actually lives on Church Road. There's an old historical church down the road from him that it's really close. And they open up the church in bad weather. So he was ready to head there. I don't know if he ever did or not. But um, shortly after I talked to him, they went under a tornado warning. So, so of course, I couldn't get to sleep. And it was 2.30. Last time I looked at the clock, it was 2.30 something in the morning. And then I woke up a couple times too after that. It's like, oh. I was very, very uncomfortable last night because of Tom. And it's like, oh, I just didn't sleep good. So now I'm tired and I'm weak and I got Tom and I'm bloated and I'm blah. But I'll be all right. <laughs> this too shall pass. Okay, so I guess that's about all I had to say. But I want to show you guys the clouds because they're so pretty. I keep looking at the clouds. That's what I keep gawking at. But they're just so pretty. They're kind of grayish. They're just pretty. I'll show you. Here we go. Let's walk. Walk with me. All right. Let me show you. See if we can see the clouds. 